day. If they extend their unbeaten run to 19 games in League and Cup, it will equal their best ever sequence set across two seasons in 1984. The Chelsea team of 1989 went 27 league games unbeaten, but that run was punctuated by cup defeats. So, talking of landmarks, Frank LeBeuf makes his 100th appearance for Chelsea today. In two and a half years here, he's won four cup winners medals with his club and one with his country. He's also scored 17 goals for Chelsea, 11 of them penalties, and two of those against Sheffield Wednesday last season. LeBeuf is one of nine players in Chelsea's starting lineup who figured in last summer's World Cup squads. And with Dennis White still suspended, 10 of the 11 were signed from overseas. And even the odd man out, Graham Lasso, was born in Jersey. Torre Andre Flo starts his third Premiership match in a row, the first time that's happened since he joined Chelsea. Sheffield Wednesday also have a Norwegian in Petter Rudi, and their multinational outfit includes a Czech goalkeeper in Cernicek, a Brazilian defender in Emerson Tom, an Italian in Benito Carboni, and in midfield, the two men who scored the goals against Manchester United last week, Dutchman Wim Jonk and Swedish international Nicholas Alexanderson. Neil Barry gets things started in what's now becoming a state-of-the-art stadium here at Stamford Bridge. It's a ground on which Sheffield Wednesday have quite a good record. They're playing in all yellow today, the Yorkshire side. Only one defeat here in their last seven visits. There goes Carboni early on. This is Alexanderson. Oh, there's a gut straight away, and that should have been a goal for Booth. What a good chance in the opening seconds. Goldbeck. Nice little ball, beautifully weighted to Poyet. Poyet! Well, Cernicek got it on there. Might have looked slightly forced with where it went, but he makes the save. That's a great ball by Zola. Magnificent. And Poyet hits it with his left foot, and Cernicek makes what has to go down as a good save. It's a corner to Chelsea. Desai has come forward to uh, join Poyet in there. It's played short to Zola. Di Matteo again. Another corner. Now this is the first time that Sheffield Wednesday have been rocking a bit. Le Berth up at the near post. This is Di Matteo. that well. nowhere those defenders they've been confused by the goalkeeper's touch really but Chelsea are in the lead Sonner Hinchcliffe Sheffield Wednesday have really got to hope they can engineer something on a break like this it's Carboni oh that's good running and Andy Boo and he should have equalized that was exactly the sort of chance that could have happened with Chelsea having so much of the game and Carboni engineered it. It was a lovely slide rule through pass and he was wide of the defender booth and he pulled his shot across the goal and that joins the attack. Sonner, Alexanderson. Same two players again. Alexanderson with Booth in the middle. Booth, then equalised. Sheffield went to the level. Andy Booth sneaking in onto Alexanderson's cross. Danny Wilson's team pulling something out of the fire here, halfway through the second half. And Chelsea caught flat-footed. It was good play on the right-hand side. 
Alex Anderson combined with Sonner. Chelsea were chasing shadows a bit there. And Andy Booth comes in near post. Goalkeeper and defender spread eagled, and he tucks the ball away. Yes, he got there first between them. And Booth, who had two earlier chances, will find his confidence lifted by that. And suddenly, the afternoon takes on a different complexion. That's a good run by Danny Sonner. It's uh, Desai who's for you. And still Zola. Morris. And a <laughs> large section of the home crowd trying to will the winning goal in. This is forward by Desai. And still Sheffield Wednesday resist. We have played two minutes of stoppage time. And Chelsea may have equaled the club record, but they won't be pleased with the outcome of today's game. It's two home points dropped for the championship challengers. And Sheffield Wednesday and Danny Wilson credited with a fine comeback in the second half, which at one time looked...